don't mind the big mess in my studio. I am working on wedding crafts all over the place. So I have boxes and bags and paint and ribbon and flowers everywhere. But I wanted to try out this new cup that I got. It's a 3D printed eight hole cup. So I'm going to first do an Easter egg color and you'll see that on a different video but I'm also going to use the leftover on a 20 by 20. Let's do this on a 12 by 12 canvas because then I'll have enough to do both projects out with the same cup. So look for a 12 by 12 square canvas with my new cup. All right so I have a little 12 by 12 canvas here and I have a new cup that I've been trying. I actually did an easter egg pour out with about one third of the paint and so I'm going to do another pour out with the other two thirds on this canvas and I have to point out that I put lavender in the two outer edges and then I have a red metallic an orange metallic gold uh, let's see what's this green light blue and dark purple and so we're going to do that right on this canvas so I have some of these as mixed paints so I'm not going to quote what brand they are but I hope you love this and we're trying out a new cup I'm gonna move your camera down to the side so you can this see the new pour. cup I'm just going to do a straight pour in the center and turn my canvas on my lazy Susan as we go so let's try it Oh, I saw a chunk. Oh, it's interesting because some of them have run out before others. So we're going to have some fun looking drips. That's okay. I think I'm going to keep that fun looking drip thing going. Let's see if we can catch. Oh, good. Caught that before it ended. And look at it swirling still. That's interesting. And I should have plenty of paint to get all the way over my canvas. But I do have a little bit of extra of this purple so I'm going to just go ahead and use it up put it around the outside edge and then we'll take you to the top and do a tilt move this to the outside edges and see what kind of fun we come up with this I don't usually like this stripey kind of look that's on there, but it could be fun. All right, let me move the camera. All right, I think this is going to be interesting. Let me show you this. Let me show you this a little closer first. Look at the center of that. Oops, let, let's get some focus. Look at the center of that. Isn't that interesting? 
how that turned out. So let's go ahead and do our spinning. I'm going to like to spin. So let me move some of these things back. I'm move it to the center first. And then let's go ahead and have a spin. Interesting. Moving it back to the center again. Spin it this way. It's interesting that it's coming out at the edge there. That's weird. I love that. Letting it settle to the end again. Or to the middle. Letting it settle to the middle again. Actually, I'm going to give it some give it some travel that direction. I think it's always fun to spin a square canvas. You never know what you're going to get. All right, now let's go back to the middle. Wow. Okay, here we go. Starting to go over, that's good. Uh -huh. Oh, I am loving this. I'm going to move it mostly to that side and then spin. So some of that weight's going to carry it over again. When I do these, I love the table in the end. Look at this pattern. So interesting. I do see some pieces. carry these colors over and let me wipe off my glove because as I grab this I don't want that blue in there and then after I do that I'm going to give it a harder spin and hopefully it will glide over these. All right, last spin, everybody ready? I'm going to modify my sides and then bring you in closer so you can see our finishes. This is how our little 20 by 20 square canvas is turning out today. Oh, it's so fabulous. And we'll show it to you when it is dry. Let me know what you think about this new cup in the comments. <laughs>